I'm David Clifton. I'm from uh, Indiana originally. Um, both my parents are teachers, uh, college level and that sort of thing. Um, I went to school at ISU in my hometown. Um, I lived in Dallas for a little while. Um, lived around Chicago a little while. Then um, <clears throat> I did graduate school in Savannah and graduated there in uh, 99. Well, I teach at Western Piedmont Community College here in uh, Morganton. And um, mostly I teach uh, game stuff, special effects things like uh, 3D modeling, texturing, particles, um, which includes things like Photoshop and digital painting. And God, I teach digital photography sometimes. I teach figure drawing. I teach drawing design classes. So a lot of art classes and quite a few tech classes too. A lot of computer digital art stuff. If they're going to be an instructor, they're taking that on as uh, not only a job, but as a passion. And so I want to see instructors that are passionate about what they do. Uh, I do believe that Clifton is very passionate about what he uh, uh, is teaching. Students are really interesting. That whole, that whole cliche thing about how uh, the teacher learns more than the students and all that, it's, it's so incredibly true because they'll ask me questions and do so many things that I, I don't see coming that uh, I pick up a lot of interesting information and new ways of, of dealing with things and then I can pass that back to the students and things like that. It's, it's a lot of fun too. The laid back sarcasm that he brings, you, you know what I mean? He's just, he'll, he'll be sarcastic and witty and everything like that but you can tell he's joking, you know, and it's just, it makes for a fun environment, you know, and he'll sit there and BS with you and have a conversation with you about most anything, you know, and he's just so laid back, quick-witted, and fun to be around, and I just, I love having him for an instructor. I believe that Clifton is very serious about what he does. He wants his students to learn and pick this up and go on and get a degree in this, and that's what he's here to do. He takes it very seriously and very professionally, but he's also your friend at the same time. He knows when there's times to uh, buckle down and really strive and then he knows when he could actually joke around and have a little bit of fun with it and make it more interesting. A, a lot of what I do when I teach is I get kind of goofy, I tell a lot of jokes, I do a lot of silly crap while I'm teaching. Um, a lot of that is just, that's what I like doing. That's, I like to be a high energy person, I like to make jokes, I like to poke at things because I don't think life is as serious as people make it out to be. If you distract a student every 20 to 30 minutes or so, you know, get their attention over here and then bring it back, they tend to learn better. And so once I started learning that like what I naturally did worked really well, um, then you just kind of reinforce it and you do it, you know. He doesn't just come into the class and give you information and leave. He kind of connects with you and it makes you want to do well in those classes. I'll retire from college teaching. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm gonna work it as, as long as I can walk. Um, I, I've thought about going industry a few times. It, it's, it's attractive because there's, there can be quite a bit of money in the industry. Um, and it is good for some people, but for me, I like the pace of this. I don't, I don't wanna work 80 hour weeks. I, sometimes you're told like you're supposed to wanna work that hard. I don't want to work that hard. I, I want to play, and I want to work some, and I want to play, and you know what I mean. Um, but I, I think I'll do it till I retire. I don't know if I'll stay at the same school, you know, or the same state, you know, may or may not. But um, I'll definitely do college teaching, you know, for the rest of my life.